I left my Harmony somewhere back in December. He sent me a message, one, then another, luring me in with his boyish charm. He had me at, yes, hello. I watched our silent conversation unfold across the screen while I imagined his fingers strumming the keys of his laptop like the strings on his fender. He seduced me with his words, toying with my tuning keys. You're the girl for me. I finished his thought in my head. He'd been playing my songs all night, a mixtape of magnetism. I was enchanted by the track I had on repeat in my mind, playing his tenor vocals over and over again. An image burned in my psyche watching him play each note, surveying him out of my peripheral, those long fingers stroking the strings of my desire. I want to see you, was the last verse he sang to me before I gave into my inner Jezebel and rocked it with my own lullaby of praise. Now it is January. The silence of my playlist is killing me softly. I checked the calendar on my iPhone, counting back the days since he last called sent a text, played my song. Hello, my name is Brandy, AKA Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, First off, welcome. and if you're an OG, welcome back, happy Thursday, guys. Yeah, because it's the 4th of July, so Happy 4th to all of my listeners, uh, at least the U.S. listeners, because I know everyone across the world doesn't celebrate our Independence Day, right? Okay, so anyways, uh, let's get into this cast video because I don't want to keep you too long. I mean, I would love to have you stay forever, but we know that's not going to happen. You got things to do. All right, so I'd like to introduce you to Harmony Priest. Uh, she is my latest Sims in my cast videos um, that her backstory is a little compelling um, you did notice the little clip earlier um, I wrote this poem actually a long time ago and I thought it was fitting for Harmony because she is a writer her uh, aspiration is to become a best-selling author but currently she writes a column for a local newspaper in San Mishuno and she calls herself the calendar girl and the reason why she calls herself that is because um, her uh, relationships she likens them to uh, each month of the year okay this is January guy this is March man and this is July gigolo I don't know guys I I, I needed a word um, so that's why she calls herself the calendar girl so when people call or people write in they're like dear calendar girl this was what happened on Friday can you give me uh, some insight so uh, she'll answer questions but she'll also tell stories um, and so the poem that I wrote is called just like music and it was pertaining to her latest relationship or her last relationship with a guy that she met um, while at an open mic night and he just happened to be a musician that was playing and uh, she caught his eye he caught her eye and there was a lot of unspoken words between them um, but they conversed mostly online for some reason or via text they never really spoke over the phone just you know words across the screen and that just happens a lot nowadays right we don't really talk organically anymore everything is uh, through text or emojis or gifts or things like that so our communication um, 
our communication can be broken down. So that's kind of what happened here in this relationship. She was liking, um, she likened her relationship like music. This guy was, um, you know, playing her like a fiddle, so to speak. You know, he was strumming the right chords and uh, whispering the right notes and um, dropping the correct lyrics, you know. But uh, meanwhile, he his every intention was to break her heart. Uh, he wasn't as serious about the relationship as she was. She was looking for something that was real and he was more or less a figment of her imagination or just a mixtape that had just been played out. So this was the perfect, he was truly the perfect verse over a tight beat. And this is referencing uh, one of my favorite movies and my last cast video. So if you haven't checked that out, guys, highly recommend you going to do that. I will make sure I link that in the iCards and in the description box below. But uh, she finally gave in to all of his musical advances. You know, he was speaking the right words and, and uh, the flow was amazing. You know, he had bars. And so she gave in to um, his advances despite her, her gut telling her not to. Harmony is normally a loner. She's not someone that, you know, puts herself out there. She would rather not. She loves being alone because she doesn't want to risk another heartbreak. This was a risk, definitely a risk because first of all, he's a musician and we all know that musicians are a risky business when it comes to relationships. She's at that age in her life where she wants something more substantial. She doesn't want to play games anymore and he was certainly playing with her emotions she will learn from this i hope or he'll just end up being another muse for a poem for a poetry night i mean that's her therapy she muses about new love and broken hearts and you know possibilities so there you have it i hope you guys enjoy this quick commentary on harmony um let me know if you decide to put her in your game and what story you choose for her will she find love again will she trust again will she become the best-selling author that she aspires to be let me know but before i go if you're not a member of our family and you're thinking about subscribing go ahead take the plunge hit that notification bell while you're down there so you know every time i upload i do upload at least thrice weekly and i would appreciate a comment tell me how you're doing how's your life do you relate to harmony i do until next time guys i'll talk to you later ciao